All right, my floor is lava. Let's check it out. New game. Use drag and drop to manipulate boxes. All right, so we can drag them and drop them. Okay. Can I, like, do I control you? Okay, so we control you. So we just, how do we, how do we jump? I just press up, so we use just WASD to move you around. And then we move the boxes around like so. Okay. That seems pretty, pretty neat. Not sure if I've ever played a game that controls quite like this. Well, I'm sure I've played many that are similar. And I think we have the distance to make that. There we go. Okay, and then we spawn over here. And we can, can I make that jump. Yep. Uh, yep. Barely. So you can, get, you can get pretty generous with that distance there. There we go. All right. Pretty uh, chill so far. I think it's going to amplify in difficulty, right? For science, can I jump on boxes that I'm just like holding in position? Sure can. Okay. I think that's an intended mechanic. All right, there's a lot going on here. I'm just gonna build myself a little bridge. Do these things have like normal gravity? They do not. They are gravity-defined boxes. They don't care. It ain't nobody's business. And then we can just kind of like uh, just mainly jump on this one over here, and we don't topple them either. Fantastic. There we go. Hey, continue. All right. You died. I did not die. What are you talking about? That's a bit not quite right in my opinion. All right, so the question is how... We can't do little jumps. We gotta go over this somehow. Not quite sure how we're gonna do this, to be honest. Um, does this, like, rest up there? No? All right, so how are we gonna do this? Oh, I, oh, I think I... I think I know. We're gonna put you, like, right here. And jump on you. Never mind, can't make it too far. Fine, we're gonna, we're gonna put a, a box... Come on. Gather it, get, gather it, move it, pick it up right here, and we're going to a little, little, little bit of that, just like that, to the side there. Then we're going to put this one, no, no, we're going to put this one up there, and we're going to high up, no, and high up, no, we can't make that too high, there, and then we're going to like, oh, no, we're dead, okay, it got hard all of a sudden, it got hard, why is this loud, maybe we should get like, it's just a matter of timing, I thought, I kind of thought we had to do something like clever here, but it might just be like a timing thing. And we're dead. All right, why is it so hard all of a sudden? I was hoping we could just like, we just make this first jump. Maybe not. Fine, two. There's gotta be some like clever mechanic to getting past this, right? Like, we put this thing above it. First of all, I'll just see how high up we can get. So we can like, like we can get like here. When I let go, we drop. And we'll probably hit the spike if we do. How? How? Oh, wait. I'll bet. Oh, oh, I'm so dumb. I can literally, like, walk. Why is that one? We can literally just walk across him. Why is it, like, so low? I'm, like, clicking and pushing it farther into the lava. Oh, you can, like, oh, that's like. Oh, okay. Well, now we're learning. You can literally just walk across. Somebody in chat's losing their mind. Somebody in the comments is losing their mind. Oh, CG, just walk across him. Just walk him across him. How are you so stupid? I figured it out in like 10 seconds flat. How do you have the IQ of a literal brain dead peanut? Oh my god. That's okay. I've I've watched other YouTubers do the same thing and lost my mind to them too. I get it. But also keep in mind, this is literally, I think, the 12th game I've recorded today. 11th, 12th, 13th, somewhere around there. So my brain's been doing a lot of thinking and learning already. Like literally 12 different games I've never played before. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff going on. I'm sure spikes equals bad. You'll need you over there. Can I put you on the spikes? What will happen if I do? Just become safe. Okay. Put you over here. Actually, we can probably do a little bit of... Oh, oh, I, I, I stuck myself. Okay, be careful not to stick yourselves, huh? Be careful with that. And over here. There we go. I do, I do feel, I do wish the boxes weren't quite so, like, floaty and laggy. I feel like if I click on, like, when I click it with the mouse, it should just, like, it should, like, match the movement of the mouse, not this delayed behind it stuff. So it doesn't feel as good as it could. It's serviceable, but it feels like it should be better, in my opinion. Get the job done for now. Wait, there's only one box. How could I... Wait, what? Oh, cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. We have to jump and 
move it underneath ourselves. Jump and... Oh, this is going to be hard. Jump a little bit of this. There we go. Oh, you're not playing around, game. And spikes on top of it. No, no, no. Oh, great. I, I stuck myself. There we go. And up and over. Oh, uh, where's that? Get out there. And wait for the spike and a little bit of this. There we go. Right, we're figuring it out. I don't like what's going on with that. Oh, this... Come on, man. Don't make me... Wait. Why did you put me back here? Bro, why did you put me back here? Bro. bro Seth. Not cool. Yeah, uh, I like the concept of the game, but the, the laggy movement of the boxes does feel pretty gross, in my opinion. It definitely takes away from some of the fun aspect of this, like, kind of gross, um... Like, the box is just, like, don't move properly with your mouse business. Ooh, you, you, can get, you can really get quite cozy in that lava there. I do like the, I do like the idea, though. And, yeah, like, if you're, if you're the patient type, the box not quite matching up to the movement of your mouse won't be a big deal. But I'm not really the most patient. I, I, I demand excellence. If I, my mouse is here, the box should be, too. Not, like, look at that. It's like a solid centimeter to the left of where my mouse is. That's not that's not allowed. It's not acceptable. It's fine. It's it's a work in progress. I'm sure the dev will uh, improve it with time to have it where the box actually mount, matches up with your mouse is and flows nicely. I'm not sure I need that last box there. There we go. I don't like that I started all the way back there when I died. Maybe it was like clicked a button too soon. I'm just gonna go right about there. So I I need to. Do a little of this. Oh, come on. You die. Restart. Why does it restart me all the way back here? That's a big, big no, 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 no. Not in 2021, bro. Not in 2021. Do not start me two levels behind and make me do the same levels again and again. Not, not, not acceptable. So, I like the idea. There is potential here. There is potential with this game, but in its current state, um, it needs work. It's the potential is here, but is not realized because you know there's just like minor thing, like two minor things, namely the box is not moving properly with your mouse. There's a bit of like a laggy delay, and that's not okay. And um, this whole notion, that like when you die, you have to restart and do levels you've already completed. That's not okay. Having to recomplete the same puzzle slash level you've already done two or three times is it's not great. It's not great. Like, maybe some people, maybe some people like that, but me, I don't know. I just, I feel like I feel like that's gonna turn off a lot of players. It's already turning me off. It's already make me not want to play. Oh, you failed on this level. Here, go repeat the two previous levels before I can come do it again. Like, no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not into that. Oh, oh God, come on. And now, because of a slight mistake there, because of the laggy box, we're all the way back here. I think there's potential here. Um, keep an eye on this game. And uh, when the developer fixes these two issues I've mentioned, um, I think there'll be something here to play. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please subscribe and check out some of my other videos.